Hello everybody and welcome to a new tutorial. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how to add custom emotes to your emote tab button which is down here. So this has been a while since I made a tutorial so it may not be so good. In fact it has been three weeks since I made my last tutorial. I seem to be uploading every month a new tutorial which is sort of good for me because I'm not that motivated to do them that much but uh, I've got my video topics here which I get from anyone who suggests the video and anyone that actually appears in the comment box the thing in your inbox so if you inbox me or leave a comment and it appears in my inbox and I'll add it to this list if not then it won't be added um, <clears throat> anyway so what you want to do is you want to get to emotesmanager.java which is found in your source com rs then go to game and in player it should be down to E, there it is. So drag and drop it in, and you should have this file. So, this pretty much handles all the emotes, like the skill cape emotes, the emotes tab, and then any other cape emote that happens. So if you want to edit any emotes, then you can edit in here. There possibly could be other files which handle different emotes, but this is the only one that I know of. So, first of all, this says unlock emotes. I'm not actually too sure what that does, but I assume it means it makes them colored instead of dark but I am not too sure about that, as I have just left it how it was. Um, so one thing you're going to need to know, or to actually edit this, is um, I suggest opening your server. So you have run.cmd here, and then in-game, if you click on an emote, if you spam click, you'll get it better. It says, interface 590, component ID 8, slot ID 0, and slot ID 2, yada yada yada. What you're going to need is everything behind here. So pretty much interface 590 is this thing in here, and then I assume this whole thing is component ID 8, and then each one is a separate slot, so this is slot 0, uh, I'll move it to somewhere where you can see, uh, so if you go to that, slot 2, do you see slot 2, uh, slot ID 1 I mean, this will be slot 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, yada yada yada, you get the picture. Okay, so remember that, all these have their own slot ID, and if you want to know what their ID is, you click it, and it will appear saying slot ID. Okay, so after you've done that, or after you've opened that at least, scroll down until you see this bit, where it says, uh, you, whatever, utils is greater than the mode, yada yada yada. Okay, so, uh, pretty much it says use book emote, which I guess is this emote. So down here it will say if id equals zero then it's the yes one and it will make the player set their next animation to the new animation of id 855 so say you go emote 555 was it 555 nope 855 hang on so if you go emote 855 then you do a yes emote so pretty much it means if you click on the slot id zero it will play this emote it will make the player play the next animation or emote to be that one so if you click on slot 1, it will do that. So scroll down, if you want to edit these, you can just edit the ID and compile it, remember. Um, so scroll down, see so you have all the skill cap emotes, if the item ID is that. So I assume it means like if this, see the attack cape untrimmed, which I don't have attack level to use. So if I wear that, and then I do the skill cape emote down here, it will make my next animation be that, and the graphics be that. So, yeah, see, cape ID, which is this variable, is the same, or is, player.getEquipment, get cape ID. So if you're wearing this cape, which is the case number, and then the break, you can do that. So if you want to add a custom one, just copy it, go down, add a comment, be like, custom cape. I haven't actually tried if this works, so do not quote me on it. Or you can just try it yourself, and just be like, cape um, 1050, I think, is the legion's cape. I'll just check. Nope, that's Santa hat. So, anyway, if you have that, and you can change it to uh, get hat ID or whatever you want, you can make a custom one. And then if that means if the cape ID, whatever is in the cape slot, is this number, then when they click a skill cape emote, it should make them set the new animation to whatever ID you put in here. And if you want a graphic, a graphic is just like um, just like an animate, uh, so, no, it's just a graphic really. So if to do it in Zenith, you go dot dot GFX, and then do a random thing, Wh whatever one you want really. Uh, I'm trying to find one. Like, did you see that? Right there. 
there's that little ball boom thing a graphics sort of just like an image or whatever it's just a graphic really so that's how you add a custom cape remember to keep the ID and also I haven't tried that so that may not work but I'm just assuming that as I go on um, so after all the uh, skill capes are done even the Dungeoneering cape you can muck around with them all you want I don't know what that is to be honest there's the vet cape the class cape the max cape I'm on Zenith though, so this may look a di bit different if you're on a different revision. And I think Zenith has actually released a few more sources, so it might not be the same looking one. But, anyway, if you scroll down to these ones, these are all the special emotes and loyalty emotes. On Zenith, some of them aren't actually uh, finished yet, so like the seal of approval, and then face palm is not done, and then disappear is not done. So, if you want to do this, you can simply go onto Google, and then be like uh, disappear emotes ID and it should come up with something like in here I don't even know if this is right uh, then do control F to do a search and look for disappear and huh this actually has a whole thing of it but anyway you should find the ID of disappear which is 12929 go in game and type dot dot emote so dot dot emote and then 12929 and if you do it Oh uh, yeah, it looks like disappear. So then you open up this, and then copy this thing, or you can type it out yourself. Pretty much, it's just player set dot uh, set player dot set next animation. So if they click on 66, which I've already coded on this, so it will do an emote. But where is 66 disappear? So if they click on slot ID 66, which is this one, um, then so far it would do nothing on that one. It did. But then add player dot set next animation and then what was the animation again? One two nine two nine. Was it? No. One two nine two yeah, it is one two nine two nine. And now when you compile and you click on that one, it will make you do this emote. Sweet. So if you wanted to add the graphic to it, copy this thing up here or rewrite it yourself. I just copy it myself as it's just easier, but it's probably a bad habit to get into because if you need to Oh, what do you know? They have the graphic here as well. Um, if you need to, uh, you know, just if you need to do it without the code or you don't have that code, then it's best to do. Um, so if you go GFX1760, it will do the puff of smoke, which is the disappear one. So that's pretty much how you add a custom emote from the tab. Uh, you need to fix all these if you want them. Um, these are all just the this stuff, like the stir cauldron. So if you wanted, you could easily make your own custom emotes. Like, I'm pretty sure I did that with the one where you die, which is the I'm dead or whatever it is. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, it was this one. You're dead. You click it. And I just found this emote ID in one of those emote databases, and I used it, and it's pretty cool, I thought. But that's pretty much how you do it. Remember to open up this, go back to Zenith, and do compiler. Make sure it says that everything is okay, and it will say everything has been compiled, and it should work. So hopefully that helped you. Um, I actually might rewrite, uh, re we redo the um, tutorial on compiling, as I know a bit more about compiling now, which could actually solve quite a few of people's problems, uh, because this compiler doesn't actually compile all the files; it only compiles certain files. So if you edit like the combat scripts, it will not do that. In fact, I could actually make a video on how to make combat scripts because while I can make them and they're not that good, I can still know how to make them. Um, so yeah, pretty much uh, that was a tutorial. How long was that? Eight minutes, still pretty long. Um, hopefully it helped you. I'll rewrite, uh, rewatch it, see if it's any good, and then maybe upload it. Um, if you've got any other suggestions or you want some tutorial in the next month or so, I might try to check out heaps of tutorials this weekend as I'm sorting. Sort of want to just get off the computer and stop with the RuneScape private server tutorial business because I started making my own website about it but then I sort of just got demotivated as well and it doesn't look that good if you excuse me if you go to ponizer.com ah uh, don't do it um you get this real shitty unfinished website that I have not finished so do not go to it as it's just in testing and the background is just horrible dim lines or dim pipes I mean um but don't do it, uh, unless you want to do it, it's average, it's not finished though, so there's like no content. There's, oh, actually yes there is. Go to ponizer.com, then click tutorials, then click FAQs, 
and some of these are finished. How to create an RSPS, I made a step-by-step -step guide. It took me so long, and it's not even that good, but hopefully that will help you. Um, also, if you, these aren't all finished, but I'm hopefully gonna finish them soon. But also if you click YouTube tutorial list, you get this really badly done um, page where it has everything you want to know. It has every tutorial that I've done, and then a video page, which is just an uh, embedded one on the site, with some of them will hopefully have um, information soon, or you can click the YouTube, which is just a link. So this is pretty much an alternate way of doing the playlist feature on YouTube, um, but I'll hopefully have the site finished in the next two months, because, yeah, I don't know. I don't even think, I'm not even sure if people even, if there's that much demand for RuneScape 667s anymore, so I don't know if my help or my tutorials are getting old or whatever. But anyway, if you want to come out and check Extinction, oops, if you want to check Extinction V2, then check the link in the description or check the other video. It's a pretty good server, I guess. Uh, I don't think actually many people play anymore because we had a big boom on the weekend of 20 players. But then I think I think apparently the American school started again, and I went to school as well. So then it was like no players during the day. But it's Friday now, Friday the 6th. So hopefully you will come along. And I guess I should stop this video now as it's not really a vlog or anything or like I used to do on my RuneScape channel. It's just a tutorial and it will make it long and these people will want to watch it because it's a long video. So thank you guys for watching and please to comment, rate, and yeah, I don't really mind if you subscribe because I just do this for people who want it, not for people who yeah, so yeah. Do whatever you want. Hopefully this helps you. I might make links to the stuff in the description. But obviously, if you're listening to this, you would have either watched the video already or checked out the links. But yeah, we'll stop at 12.01 just to make it real even on YouTube. So yeah, thank you for watching, and please comment, rate, subscribe.